<laughs> Sean need Jesus too. I actually do need Jesus mo like low key. The shit I be saying. If y'all think that I'm bad on Twitch, bruh. Bruh. A past girlfriend had looked through my phone, saw that I was talking to another girl. If all the red and green flags in a partner That's not were even revealed that bad. up front, would that help us find real love? With five hand-selected men to date, our bachelorette will pose a series of questions crafted to bring forward any red and green flags they may have. Who will win the race to her heart? Wait, what? I'm lost. I am Torin. I'm 24. Okay. My intentions are respectfully to be ruthless. Like, I'm looking for something. I'm on a mission. I don't want to waste my time. I don't oh want to waste God. their time. It's one of these. If you don't have it, you got to go. What's your relationship like with your mom? I'm first. Am I going first every time? I would prefer to have someone who loves his mom, not a mama's boy. I love my mom. We talk about everything we spoke this morning. Yeah, I love my mom. Yeah, mama's boy for sure. Y'all close with your mom? She's dead? I was about to say something crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> She ain't tell you? <laughs> nah, that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Well, anyway, um, I'm saying though, like, so y'all fuck with your? Okay, cool, 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 cool. What? I fuck with my mom heavy. My mom and I, I feel like my mom and I are like low key friends at this point. It don't get much. It don't get much. Like you don't get much closer than getting high with your mom. So. We kind of we kind of locked in. That's twin for real. It's not like I depend on her for everything, but I love my mom. I'm gonna give you a red flag. Wow. You should never date a mama's boy. I got a mom tattoo right here. This is like mother. Oh nah, he gotta go. Oh. And my mom has a flower that says like son. Oh, so. that's cute. See, I love my mom. Torn wouldn't like this at all. My relationship with my mom is great. Uh, always been great. <laughs> never really had problems. Green flag. Ah, uh, yeah, my mom's the best human Syndrome that's ever lived. One of the worst I think if I asked her to stories, he bring me a evil just because he was told to stop decrying. Who the fuck is Syndrome? Sandwich, and she lives in Montana. She would fly down to LA and give me one, so she's just incredible. Red flag. There's nothing wrong with loving your mom. I love my mom to death. She's not gonna fly here to make me a sandwich. Make yourself a sandwich. I. What the fuck? Nigga said it's a red flag for you because your mom loves you to death. What the fuck? It's great. She's been there from the beginning since I was born. Red, no, green, 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 green flag. You know, she's a queen. Uh, she showed me early on what it is I need to do as a young man. Perfect beard. That's what I'm, that's my beard. That's gonna be my beard when I'm finished. And like maybe, I'll give myself about three months. I gotta get three months of growth, bro. Uh, I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to, I don't, I'm probably not going to grow my beard back out. I might though. Who, who, who knows? To make future women happy, whether it's my woman, whether it's a future daughter, you know, my goddaughter, whoever. Green flag. Sean, you ain't seen the Incredibles. I still don't know who the fuck Syndrome is. Tell me your favorite joke. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. I am hilarious. I am. She's definitely not funny. Holy fuck. Okay, what's my best joke? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Me trying to be funny is cringe. I don't like to try to be funny. I, I don't I don't like that. On my on me. It don't it's not a good style on me. So I I'm more of a observational humorist. I I'll find something funny to say, but I'm not about to say I'm I'm not gonna tell you a joke. I'm just not gonna tell you a joke. It's, it's that, that vibe ain't me. I'm the funniest person to walk the planet. I need someone that can have fun. Can I tell a joke to break the ice? Why did Sally's ice cream cone melt? She was on fire. Oh, brother, this guy stinks!
And it's the thing though. That's the thing too, cause it's like it's like this is why I also tell y'all like not to go crazy with the approaching and shit like that. Because you're gonna end up putting your shit on the line. Your whole life gonna be risked on the line to get a girl whose humor is basically like this. And this might be El Misogynist. Most of them are like this. Most of the humor that they got is like this. If you get a if you get a funny girl, and I don't mean a goofy girl, I mean you get a funny girl. That's up. That's the one you gotta marry. If a girl if girls start making you laugh. It's up. It's up. And no one laughed at my joke, so they all got red flags. That was a really good joke. What did the DJ name his son? Please no don't. Please don't. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> that was green flag. Yeah, green flag. Corny sometimes works. Sometimes corny works. Joke. Why does Waldo? Wait. Why does where's Waldo? wear stripes why the fuck did you spell wear like that you dumbass bitch are you good why are those the two answers what the fuck why wouldn't you just tell the put the all right bro i'm banning whoever made this poll holy fuck holy fuck mean isn't funny i didn't say it was who said i who said i said mean was funny i said i'm an observational comedian that means i'll find something look at it and make a comment about it that's funny but i'm not a joke teller are you good we same page i know boma did not just make that bro holy fuck i know her man going through it at the house that's crazy that's what niggas got to deal with that's the type of shit niggas got to put up with bro it's crazy it's crazy Mean is only funny if both of y'all are mean to each other. Like if y'all constantly dick sucking each other. If y'all not constantly dick sucking, and you just on her dick the whole time. Then it's then it looks like you're a bully. You got to know who who you're doing that with. That was the worst. Like what what poll was that? Oh shit! Here we go. Here's the answer. He doesn't want to be spotted. Yeah yeah yeah. She got to get banned. This is a bannable. Like holy fuck! What? Oh brother, this guy stinks. What the fuck? Like, what's going on with you, famo? You good, gang? You good? I don't know. I don't know, bro. That's different. Coming up with jokes on the spot is hard, especially when it's like your sense of humor is like self-deprecating and like dark, which mine is, what's the difference between a Hispanic and a bench? Oh, God. A bench can support a family of five. <laughs> I mean, that's really not funny. That's kind of like, I don't know. That one didn't really hit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That was sick. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at him a little different, bro. What you, what you mean by that? Yes, yeah, the moment that that joke created was funnier than the joke itself. I ain't gonna lie. That was kind of, that was kind of different. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> it was kind of a jab on myself because I am Hispanic. But I would hope so. But yeah, no, I, I think it was funny, and I think that's all that matters. I'm not gonna apologize for it. It's a good joke. Oh no, nigga, one of them. But I need you to stop. You laughed. Red flag. Why did my people get a random oh, let's, Let me explain. That's what I'm saying, bro. You gotta hop it in there. It feels inappropriate to laugh, and I don't think I could ever tell that joke. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? I matey. Yeah, get him gone. Oh. Get him gone. Red flag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get him gone. I feel like they're taking themselves too seriously. No one really wants to put themselves out there. I'm gonna. You can't make fun of yourself here. How are you gonna make fun of yourself out there? Uh, knock, knock. <laughs> oh, okay, this one might be fire. Knock, knock jokes might get me, hold on. Boo. Boo. It's just a joke, why are you crying? Green flag. Okay, nah, that, nah. I thought he was gonna go somewhere crazy with it. I thought he was gonna go somewhere crazy with it. He didn't. You got a green flag? Knock, knock. I thought he was about to go crazy. Green flag. Green flag who? I want a green flag. Green flag. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? Okay, you got a green. You got a oh. green flag. Describe a time you 
broken the trust of someone that you cared about? I don't get Today, it. Today, actually, I'm actually supposed to be in Joshua Tree right now with the homie. I have to call him up this morning because I forgot to tell him I'm shooting today. And I wouldn't, I didn't want to do that to you, of course, missus. So I made sure I came. So I broke his trust. Is this a habit? No. Or is this a one-time thing? I don't flake. I hate when people flake on people. I'm not a flaker for sure. Green flag. You flaking right now. What you mean? You flaked on your niggas for some potential, bo for some, for, but the, uh huh? I can't lie, bro. That's, that's giving very much so like not committed. It's giving not it's giving non commitment, brother. If you can't if you if you can flake on your homies, bro, what you gonna do with her? Your man's need your support. You don't know what could happen. He could be getting jumped right now as we speak, and you over here on, on some shit that you might not even get chose. You might not even get chose, and you over here risking it all, bro. His his man's could be like on his last legs right now. That's crazy. Flag. Green flag. There we go. A past girlfriend had looked through my phone saw that I was talking to another girl. Yeah, from there, the trust was kind of shaky. I've changed since then a lot. Uh, that was years ago. Bro, you got tattoos on your head. I don't think you changed much. Red flag. My last ex was not the most truthful. And he was very good at like manipulating the situation and manipulating me in a sense. Until like I had like that solid evidence that he was actually cheating. Like I feel like I didn't really have a reason to leave. So. I definitely look for honesty and whoever I'm gonna be spending my time with next. One time I had a good friend share something pretty. Yo, y'all women gotta be more, um, what is it? More more honest with each other and hold each other accountable. Why you not holding uh, Boma accountable for that trash ass joke she just told? I don't know, but I'm just saying. She, she might, might be, be hilariously, hilariously unfunny, unfunny, but she, she a little, little fine. fine. That's the problem with niggas, bro. Y'all overlook the simple. Y'all overlook the important shit. Y'all overlook the important shit. She cool. Don't get me wrong. She cool, but she might not be. She might be hilariously unfunny. It's kind of a big hill to get over. That's a big hill to get over. I can't lie. You can't overlook that. That's very. Imp that's pivotal. She just like you, though. I mean, we could both be fine, but at the end of the day, like, even if I, uh, even if I was hilariously unfunny, I still have too many funny moments. You know what I mean? Like, and I've always said that about myself. I'm not a funny person. I'm not a funny person, but we gonna have a good time. Always. Always, bro. That's just what I do. That's the, that's the vibe that I create. That's that's the energy I'm gonna give off. That's what I'm saying, bro. If I can't laugh with my bitch, then how how, how you my bitch? What are you talking about? You mean to tell me I hop, I hop in the whip or I hop in the house or you like we eating together or something like that? I gotta be the one carrying the whole. I gotta carry all the weight. I don't get why people cheat for real. I don't get it. Just leave the relationship if you're not happy. Cause cheating is fun. You get the best of all. No, I'm, I'm playing. I've never cheated on anyone in my life. I never cheated on any. Thank y'all. Please, like, let her know how ass that was. I've never cheated on nothing on no one in my life. I will never do that. I follow Sean's words every day. That's what I'm saying. Humor is subjective. Stop being a bitch. Your mom is a bitch. Now what? Do you tell her that? I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't tell her to stop being a bitch. She be bitching you all day. Bitching your siblings. As soon as you came up out the womb, boom. What you tell her? You do? I don't believe you. You're not, you're not walking up into your mom and tell her to stop bitching. I literally told my mom before, bro. I literally told my mom like two months ago, bro. You and my sister literally just be bitching. I told her that. Straight up. You're not, you not man enough to get that off. I know you're not, you're not moving like that. That's not L son. I was, I was being straight up. I was being 100%. I was being 100%. That nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. I was being 100%. You don't do that. Stop Stop talking like that. You don't do that. That's not even L son. I think that's W son. I think that's W son. Because if another nigga walked over, uh, or walked across the way and called your mom a bitch, you'd be like, yo, what the fuck? You'd be ready to fight. So you got to get it off before other niggas get it off. I'm not lying. I swear to God. I'm my, On my life, on my soul. I literally said that to her like two and a half months ago. 
I didn't want to, obviously, but I'm just saying it was a very important thing for me to say because it was a very stressful situation at that time. And these niggas would not. It's a story for another time. It's a story for another time. But these niggas, they was I was I was mad. Yes, I was very I was very upset. I was very upset. I wasn't trolling at all. I was dead. I was dead serious. I was dead serious. But I'm saying, as I said before. It ain't really a story. It's just like when niggas be when niggas be like going back and forth about some shit that really annoys me or some shit that just, it just don't matter at all in comparison to the situation that I'm trying to focus on at that particular time. I'm gonna get very upset. I'm gonna get extremely upset. The justification is crazy. It's not really something that I have to justify. You didn't you didn't know the situation at the time. It was a very intense situation, and I was sick of having to be the mediator in the situation. I'm like y'all niggas need to stop fucking bitching. I'm like y'all really pissing me off right now. Like, all y'all niggas be doing is bitching for nothing, for no reason. So it's crazy. But anyway, I only said that to say, like, you don't, you, you don't, you don't have to, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to go on this to go up to your mom to just tell her that, bro. That's all I'm saying. Remember when you called old boy's mom a bitch and she was dead and then he beat you up? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? That's never happened. That's never happened. Bro, you're the only one complaining right now. Okay, bro. <laughs> that that's that's funny because i'm not walking up to no nigga and calling his mom a bitch if i know i can't like kill him i'm sorry my bad see that see uh see shout out to all my gay niggas be private with me and ended up sharing it with someone else and it kind of got back around to him red flag oh i've never broken a friend's trust or anyone, really. I keep myself to high standard in regards to loyalty and relationships. Green flag. Fire. Uh, I was in the military and I was sent to Korea. Fireman, fireman, months, fireman. I had a relationship established about a year prior. But once I got there, the communication kind of fell off. Red flag. You don't need constant contact with someone, but just a, hey, I'm doing this today. I'm not going to be on my phone. Have a good day. That's not asking for too much. Did the nigga not just say he was in the military? That's literally the bare minimum. Oh, I'm in the lead. Let's go. You see that comeback? Straight into the end zone. Describe your relationship and your current communication with your ex. So flat out, I don't have one. I know people try to say you should be mature and, you know, it's okay to be friends, but why? Why? If and when you move on to dating someone else, that just poses a problem and I'm not the type of individual who would want condone or allow it. I don't talk to my ex. Uh, we broke up pretty amicably. We decided it would be best if we didn't talk and just kept our distance so we can heal. So no communication right now. I also don't communicate with my ex anymore. Um, it kind of just faded out. We did keep in contact though, like after we broke up, but. I still talk to my ex sometimes. We're good friends though. Yeah, like we started out as good friends, you know, and I think we'll continue to be friends. You know what I mean? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Unless you start in a new relationship. Y'all fuck. Look. Um, yeah, we don't talk anymore. How long since you haven't talked to your ex? A little over a year now, I believe. Darius gets a green flag. Mm. Green flag. Red flag. Only because he said right now, which leaves the door open for like later down the line. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have Torin turn around. Hi. Hey there. Okay, she's so seeing all the prospects. I wish you guys the best. Damn. I didn't mind that I got out, if I'm honest. She's not really my type. Oh, What's your fuck. Type? Not her. Oh my fucking God, bro. This nigga's against Hispanics and Blacks. He's getting out. If you cater to what I consider my type, the red flags look very green. She's pretty. I would, talk, I would definitely talk to her. If we were out and about, I'd say something to her for sure. No, oh, you wouldn't. Red flag. Wow. Because your shirt is wrinkled. Is it this one? 
iron so you don't give a fuck about that see that's what i'll be saying bro be honest be it's like seriously bro just be honest with yourself like you knew it wasn't about the fucking shirt my nigga over there is wearing a fucking wearing blue jeans i think he got on black shoes with a tie-dye tank top on he bald with tattoos on his fucking forehead and all of a sudden the other nigga he gets a red flag because his shit wrinkle huh your shirt man like Come on. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. And it has a slight stain on it. I think that's the style. Also, I'm sweating. It's kind of hot. It it's is hot. hot. <laughs> it is hot. I just sweat a lot, bro. My perfect type. Like, I could wear that, and this is just kind of crazy, bro. I would say he has one sleeve and one bare arm. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I'll touch that nigga. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. What happened? <laughs> Wait, what? What's what? What happened? I would cheat on her too. Sean is one and oh right now. What do you mean? She's one of them? These the girls Sean be pulling. Being this type is something all right. What the fuck does that mean? Run it back. What do you mean? She really from Detroit. Okay, why are y'all dick sucking her now? What the fuck? She looked cheatable. I'm not gonna lie, y'all y'all talking different right now. Y'all was just saying how great of a person she was. Wow. L5. Okay. Okay. If you don't have tats, just say that, bro. If you thought she was going crazy, if you thought she was going crazy over the over the one sleeve and then the non sleeve, <laughs> wait till she get to the neck. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, bro! Like the amount of time my filigrees have been rubbed on, bro. It's actually crazy. It's actually like, wow, my god. Oh my god, where'd you get those done? I love your tattoos. Like, well, what the fuck, bro? I just, it was just like some random shit that I decided to get. Like, nothing too crazy. No tattoos on the other arm. Green flag. My style is pretty important to me, but I don't. Yeah, a lot of them be white. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't be following up. A lot I don't be following up, so that's what I'm saying. It don't it, it count, but it don't really care. And also, like I said, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna finish the sleeve out over here, leave this one naked, and then this this leg right here, you can't see it. This one right here, I'm gonna get this leg done, and then leave this one bare. I'm gonna be like a cyborg. I'm gonna be like a cyborg. It's gonna look so fire. No, it's not. If you dress like Shaggy on Coke. What do you mean? Slap your thigh again, big bro. Got you, famo. Crazy. I should have been moving recently. This man looks like a prison wife. Low key. He handsome, though. He handsome for a ball nigga. What do you mean? Sean be bare for us. What does that mean? What is corny as fuck? Hmm? 1994 on the biceps is insane and he's bald, which is even worse. <laughs> I did not notice the 1994. <laughs> I didn't notice the 94. That's crazy. I did. I just, I just noticed that. Damn. I don't have an explanation for every tattoo that I got. And there's still one that you haven't seen. Y'all was born in the same hospital. He was born in 94. He's older than me, you dumb bitch. Hey, look. Yeah. I did not notice that. Wow. I hear too much about others' opinions. I love guys that are tall. I'm very drawn to very tall guys. Like <laughs> Chat, I mean, I'm two for two. I'm two for two just right off rip. So like we got the tats down. Um I'm six five. 
What else could she really want? I think I'm low. I'm just like the complete package. I'm the complete package, bro. Bro, do I really got to break out the measuring tape for bitch ass niggas to really see me? Sean, how tall are you? Uh, six foot four. They like the same height. Yeah, those two are. Not too crazy though. Ain't you like five five? Nigga, you not six five. Shauna five five king. I'm actually six three. I'm literally six three. So I don't know why you're saying that. I don't know why you're saying that when I'm literally six three. You are five feet. I'm literally six two. Like, do I need to break out the measuring tape to just to show you? Just to show you how tall I am. You wouldn't I'll, have passed the funny part, Browski. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm literally 6'1". So, I'm like... You're really lucky I don't have my measuring tape, bro. I will show you that I'm dead six feet, like, on the fucking mark. Like, literally, on the little, on the little like, location thing where it shows where the thing is. I'm literally six foot, like, on the dot. It's crazy. Be honest with myself. Go get it. It might be a bit far away, to be honest. Like, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little. I don't know where it is. Okay, I can go get it. I can go get it. I can go get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Let me just. Oh, some shit. Hold on. Nothing too crazy. Just like that. I'll be right back. Bro, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually, I, I literally, like, it was there. It literally, is. it was literally there. What do you mean y'all horny? What happened while I was gone? Whoa. How is that TOS? Nah, it was literally here. My nephew must have, like, I don't know. Oh, wait, I got it. I found it. No, I found it. I found it. I found it. Watch. See? I got it right here. I got it right here. Hold on. Oh, my fucking God. Welcome back, Tory Lanes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, my God. You see me? Okay, hold on. Hold on though. My dick out. Show print? No. Okay, wait. Okay, hold on. Where's my okay here it is. I got it. I found it. Boom. Just like this, right? And then I put my foot right here, right? Boom. I'm about to show y'all niggas something. Wait. I gotta I gotta let it land under my big toe. Okay, I got it. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, chat. Look. Look, this is what it says. I'm about to show you. Watch. Watch. See? This is where it stopped. This is where it stopped. This is where it stopped. This is literally where it stopped. I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to lock it in. 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 Boom. It's locked. It's locked. Look, look at look. Hold on. Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I looked up at it. No, 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 no. I only went. Oh no! It, it came out. Okay, no, nah, that's crazy. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. Hold on. If I wear shoes, right? Is that like? Is that cheating? If I wear shoes? No, I'm asking. I'm asking. Is it cheating if I wear shoes? Take Just socks off. I don't. I'm not like. Sean showing us right, five feet five <laughs> inches. You doing too much. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's do this again. Cause I'm naked. Let's do this again one more time because I'm naked. Why won't this stay on? 
I'm cold. I'm literally cold. That's that's the only reason. I'm cold. I'm literally cold. I'm literally I'm literally cold. I'm cold. We already saw the print. No, no, no. That's not that's not what it is. All right, chill. Right. So listen, right? Boom. Just like this. We're gonna go crazy once again, once more. If I gotta if I gotta do this again, I will. Oh my god. It was on my foot. It was on my foot. It was on my foot. Okay, I did it. Okay, boom. Right? I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do nothing. I'm gonna keep it right here. Boom. Once again. Once again. Locked. 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 Right? You see it, right? Locked in. What's that say? Oh my god, you so fucking lucky. That's what it says right there. Boom. Boom. See, just like that. You see it? Crazy. 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 Can you pose like Zuko behind you real quick and Bro, keep the blanket oh on? No, it's not. I'm about to show you. Because niggas is just, you doing too much. You doing too much. So it said I was 71 and a half inches. It said I was 71 and a half inches. Do you niggas, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all good? Y'all good? You good? You good? You good? It says 71 and a half. It says 71 and a half. So like right here, if you go to 71 and a half on the shit, which is actually, it was almost like right here. It was like 71 and like three fourths, 71 and three fourths. So right here, that's, that's literally, that's like six foot. I don't know why they saying five, nine. 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 I don't know why they saying five nine. I don't know why they saying five nine. It's okay to admit you're a midget. I don't know why they saying five nine. That's what I'm saying. It's literally five eleven and three fourths. So like, I don't know why. I don't know why they doing that. I know. L L chat. Y'all dumb as fuck. Y'all dumb as fuck. That's literally. That's like exactly six foot. So <laughs> I don't know what niggas. Like, bro, bro, like, what? Like, I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, it don't matter. But it's literally, it's literally six foot. So, like, what you gonna do? I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree. 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 That's what I'm saying. Be on my side because it makes sense. Be on my side because it makes sense. Be on my side because it makes sense. It is. It is what it is, bro. I started off saying six five. Where's the footage of me saying that, bro? When did I say I was six five? Sean, how tall are you? Uh, six foot four. When did I say I was six five? When did I say that, bro? Because now y'all just chatting as usual. When did I? I never said six five. I never said six four. I never said six three. Why are y'all? Where y'all coming up with this? Where y'all coming up with this? Where y'all coming up with it, bro? What happened? What happened? What happened? Sean, you might go. I'll be real on dick sucking, but you filled a void after Etika passed away. Just get it off my chest. Okay, I appreciate the kind words. R.I.P. Etika, you know, we love him. 
But that was L reading, and I was an L dono low key because you kind of typed that in a weird way. Still W, but still L at the same time. Fuck with you though, heavy the long way. Um, you said it a few minutes ago. No, I didn't. I never said that. Like I said, if y'all actually, if y'all have any evidence of me saying that, then by all means bring it up. But like, I literally never said that. So, y'all got any other lies you want to put out? Put out there. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm game. I'm game. Nobody clipped it, so I don't know what you're talking about. Prove me wrong. You are a pathological liar. You skip calves or you just don't know how fucking genetics work. If you don't know uh, if you don't know how the human body differs from one another, just say that, bitch ass nigga. This nigga is a straight liar. Why is my sexuality being brought into this? The receipts will come. That's what I'm saying. Let's let's read a real like let's read a real like fucking message right now. Sean, you are the most handsome man. Seriously, you are the gro you are the goat. I wish I could understand how you must feel at the moment. You are the best. Your music opinions are flawless. No one can say no or refuse you. That's really on my that's really how I feel. That's really how I feel. So like if we really want to have a real life conversation and really think about our place in the universe, like you should really be respecting me. Way more, you know, way more than you are right now. Now he a page chatter. Now he a page chatter. Now he dick sucking. Now he dick sucking. Everybody else was trying to be on my dick saying that I was 5'9". Bone was bitch ass, dumb ass, weird ass. You know what I'm saying? Talking about 5'9". And it clearly said like, it clearly said six foot the whole time because you niggas can't read. It's okay though. Like, I'll forgive you. Like, get your education up. Get your money up. Not your funny up. Grar. Oh, so now we doing, now we doing copy pasta. Okay. Now we doing copy pasta. Okay, whatever. Like niggas really body shaming. It's it's wow. It's it's whatever. It's whatever. Now you okay. All right, bro. As a six foot four man myself, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Us us tall niggas gotta stick. Uh, like us tall niggas gotta stick together. Us tall niggas gotta stick together. So I don't know why. Like I get all the shorties in the chat want to try to dick suck now that they feel like they got something, but they don't. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, but like it's it's not it's not gonna work, bro. Not y'all doing the same shit, Moderator bro. It's founder, not like you, it's not gonna catch on. Subscriber momentum it's not gonna catch on. Underscore. Sean, you are the most handsome man out. You seriously are. The I'm not reading whatever. Like, like, how bro. you must feel at the moment. You are the best. Your like, music opinions is, are flawless, and no one can say no to you or refuse you. What happened, nigga? I'm crushing you in heels. And I'm beating the fuck out you if we had a fist fight. Like, what? Okay. I knock you down. Do you like Ike Diatina? Like, what the fuck? Y'all like, I can't beat the shit out of women. Like, it's really simple at the end of the day. Like, what do you mean? I could wear heels too. We'd be the same height once again. What are you talking about? The heat bills since I know how them it's like niggas really just, cold it's like niggas really just come out the woodwork on, on, on like, y'all not gang for real. You're not really, you're not really gang. You're not really gang. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you saying? I would. I'm going to do a spinning kick on some on, on, on like one day. I'm going to do a spinning kick one day. What do you mean? What's going on? I'm playing around. <laughs> Wait, who's banned? Do I have any pets? Why not right now? Cause you, cause, cause I'll jiggle. Y'all saying a lot of things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like my shit gonna jump. I don't want to do a spinning uh, a spinning kick. I don't want to be. I don't want y'all to see me like that. 
10 subs for a belly reveal. I mean, we're going to wait for y'all to stop dick sucking. Nah, you you trying to turn that into something. We're going to wait for y'all to stop dick sucking. You know what I'm saying? Take off shirt, show pecs. Sean got a beer belly. He done capping. Let's finish the video. I never capped. I never capped. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what's wild. But like I was saying, like I was saying, to bro, like we need to, we need to, like I said, make sure we stick together. Us tall niggas got to make sure, like niggas don't really fuck with us like that. That's what. That's all I was saying. That's all I was saying to chat. I know they, I know they insecure. I know they insecure, but it's like it's crazy. It's crazy. Like it couldn't be me being short and broke and like unattractive and like you know what I mean. It couldn't be me. It's kind of crazy. Ow! I know niggas are upset, but it's just it's like it's really not my fault or my problem. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wrong way. Oh fuck! Wrong way. Like the taller you are, ugh. God. Chef's kiss. Oh God. Green flag. Because I like the accessories. I like the watch, the double necklaces, the shoes. Yes. Bro, he did a fucking unasked for 360. Yeah. Ugh, I'm so good. He's a good looking boy. What's a deal? What the fuck? What do you mean boy? Deal breaker political opinion of yours. Be specific. My deal breaker in politics would be your support of an individual whose beliefs directly contradict what goes on in the black and Hispanic community. Green flag. If you don't stand for human rights, which are huge for me, um, we won't align. What's the worst thing someone can say about you? My okay. style is whack. Like they don't like my That's style. That's the worst? I don't really pay, I don't really care much about what people say about me. So I, it was hard to try to think of something. Green flag. Mm. Would you raise your kids with religion? Why or why not? I would. I was raised Catholic. Uh, oh, we know you damaged. You damaged goods. You damaged goods. I don't, I don't even want to know what they did to you. Second of all, I don't have a problem raising kids with religion, though. Um, just you can't tell them everything. But, you know, we good. He do got a big ass head. He got that like uh, Haley Joel Osment face going on where the size of his head is normal. But the face inside the face is like small. It's kind of it's, it's weird when you think about it. But when you see it, it's kind of crazy. Have y'all seen Haley Joel Osment? I might have to pull up a pic because niggas don't really know about Haley. Look at this nigga face, bro. This is like the permanent baby face. Like this nigga been the same age facially his entire fucking life. And it's actually crazy. It's the same face. And his face is in his face, if it makes sense. His face is in his face, bro. It's actually fucking insane. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. He got the same little, he got the same shit going on, I feel like. That's what I'm saying. I now practice. I'm a Christian now. Uh, I pray every day. I meditate. It's important to me. It brings me ease. You ain't getting shows, bro. It brings me peace. And I think it's important to instill those values in my children, too. I would like someone that believes in something. Like, I don't care what it is, but like, I love to like pray and I love to like meditate and things like that. So someone that can reciprocate that and like do it with me is definitely a green flag. Can I get two? No. Why are you being so pushy? <laughs> Your best female friend is being super flirty with you while we're dating. What would you do? Nothing. We just dating. We not in a relationship. What the fuck? Low key, my female friend could get it too. What are you talking about? 
we just dating why does she ask this dumbass question it depends on the situation like where we are uh, he already fucked up you getting a red flag because he said it depends but personally no nah, there's not a problem at all if, we, if we're like texting and she says something crazy i'm gonna be like that's weird don't do that or something like that like cut that out and if she does it again then i might have to block her or something but um and if we're in person then i just give her a weird look at me like what do you do like you know what i'm saying try to talk to her be like what you bro you cheated stop acting like you hired it you hired high you know what i'm saying higher learning and some shit like bro you you cheated already you folding you folding and it's okay because all my female friends look good too so i'm not i'm not mad at the answer right now but he just he going he going on he going overboard bro if my female friend does that to me in person and we already got a vibe the fuck what are you talking about what are you saying that's what i'm saying block my block my friend for a situation we ain't even that deep in we ain't got no commitment no ties no dividends bro if i die you get nothing and you want me to give up on my friend for you that's kind of crazy it's giving possessive even if i wasn't in a relationship and a friend was being flirty with me i'd be like what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing we friends that's it red flag firm boundaries see ya, see ya, are the L. best way to go you don't respect me see ya, you don't respect L. my girl you gotta go period if it persisted then oh wait what you don't respect my girl oh she talking about from his perspective that's not your girl we're dating you don't respect me you don't respect my girl you gotta go period you gotta if go it persisted then i would be like yeah happening once is persistence happening once is i can't that's literally not the definition of persistence she's literally stupid as fuck now i'm mad can't dictate i mean i can't predict and you I can't really understand. control that um You're you can't unless you can see it coming somehow but that's not really now i'm mad because he just said some dumb ass shit persistence if it happens initially darius his response validated my reasoning for giving him a red flag do you want me to elaborate more no, I, I was just no. Don't elaborate more, bro. I'm surprised you know what that means. Saying I can't predict if it happened the first time. If it happens after that, then I can be like, of what course, are you doing? we don't predict it. But I yeah. just feel like boundaries that you already set when you get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. People break boundaries all the time. You can't control whether people break boundaries. You can't control what happens after that. But for me personally, I've been in a situation long time, multiple guy friends. She's stupid as fuck. This this conversation, I'm glad you're having this conversation because she don't fucking get it at all. Friends never once cross the line, ever. That's great. Cause like <laughs> he said that's great. Hey yo, this is a good fucking guy. This is a good guy right here, bro. That's what that's what I established. That's the line that they this know. This is a great guy. They can never cross, even if they felt that way. No, that's great. But that different great for everybody. She knows what she wants, and she's particular, and that's not a bad thing. Shut your simp ass up, bitch ass nigga. You're not getting that. That's I mean, crazy. If you don't match. There's no point of wasting time, right? Nah, bro. You didn't just see what she did. You still on her side? Are you dumb? Are you good? Haley Joe Osment, you've been in so many movies, and you still don't get the picture, bro. You got killed at 12 years old in one of the movies, bro. You knew everything. You were so smart. What happened? You grew up to be this? Crazy. If you suspect I cheated on you, how would you approach it? Oh, I would be straight up. I'll call you out on that. I'm not beating around the bush. I'm not saying shit to you. What you mean? And apparently cheating is if we're dating. So if I catch you dating another nigga, you want me to go off on you? I don't give a fuck, bitch. We chilling. You chatting right now. I'm chilling. You dating. Okay, I don't care, bro. I don't care. Do your thing, bro. We ain't made no commitment. You're not cheating on me. Nobody got time to waste, right? I'm not confronting any girl who cheats on me. What the fuck do I gotta say to you? What 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 situation is this even? It's not on me to talk to you. If you cheating on me, it's on you if you're trying to make up for it. What are you talking about? She young. No, she's just dumb. You 28. No, nah, she's 24. Right, I wouldn't, you know, I would attack it head on and i would ask you like hey what's going on i would ask you oh my god i hate this nigga so much it's with my soul bro right then and there i'll probably <laughs> pull up to your house like girl come outside <laughs> oh my god he's wild <laughs> he's fucked up <laughs> he said i'm gonna pull up to the house oh my god bro i can't take niggas bro i can't take niggas bro i can't take nobody i can't take nobody bro this is crazy. This is crazy. He said, I'm going to the house. <laughs> you know, let me see your phone. I would never allow Let me see your phone. Holy fuck. I don't know what's crazier. Is going to the house crazier or let me see your phone crazier? 
I think those are both like those. Look, neither of those you can return from. I yeah, the phone might be crazier than the house, which sound crazy. I think the phone might actually be crazier. I someone to pull up to my house and demand to see my phone ever in a million years, especially if you're my partner. There should still be a certain level of respect. You can still be firm without being insane. Green flag. Can I get two? Nope. Why does he keep asking for two? And how did she give him a green flag after he said that? I'm gonna keep asking you until you give me two. I know. You did end up getting Oh, what? What do you mean? Yo, get him gone. How how is that not a red flag? What? I can't. Hey yo. Hey yo. Yo. Hey. I never thought. Listen. Listen. I'ma just keep it on standby. I'ma just keep it on standby. You never know. You never know. Giving him a green flag. Only for the straightforwardness of it. I definitely believe if that's what you feel like your partner is doing, confront them. What counts as cheating? Anytime that you do anything with malicious intent, if you have to try to justify anything or- Wait, what? Malicious intent? So wait, if I accidentally fuck somebody, you saying I'm cool? Is that what he's saying? Appreciate the raid. Oh, I'm, I'm just not a good Twitch streamer. Appreciate the raid, Dev. We love you. And we love all of you for coming in. I don't get what he means by this. What do you mean accidentally? I mean, I said accidentally, but what does he mean without malicious intent? I don't get it. So I can accidentally fuck in his eyes. Or like, then, that, it, nah, it doesn't work like that. If it's a blurred line, then it's a cross line. Green flag. I'm sorry. I said it once. He cheated. <laughs> I've seen him cheat. <laughs> how I did saw he him cheat? Like, That's crazy. I'm colorblind too. I don't even know how. <laughs> <laughs> it was good winning, no matter what the circumstances are. I feel like I just hit a game with a three pointer. Jeremy's really. Bro, he's 5'6. Come on now. Is what we doing? Come on, man. Like, I don't feel like he should have won that. Cool, super, super cool, super seemed like a super gen but literally he was. I mean, he was the only good choice, I guess, or the only one that didn't give him a like, give her like a, a problem. Wow, she's stupid. New and guy, he's he's super cool. Are you interested in asking each other out, swapping numbers? We could do numbers, WhatsApp, email, pen pal, whatever you pen pal. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Um, no, just just you know, um. Good vibes. Um, for me, it's not as linear as just, oh yeah, I, mean, I can't wait to, to go on a date. I mean, you know, he seems like a great dude. I, we could grab a drink sometime as friends, you know? You can go <laughs> you, on a date. Just he saw, yeah, he saw another potential. Yeah, I fuck with, I fuck with bro now. Cause he like, she wasn't really the prize. I thought she was, but she wasn't the prize the whole time. <laughs> you hope anything kind of amounts after this or? Jeremy is nice and Jeremy is cool. And I'm glad I met Jeremy for today. Okay. 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 I'm gonna be honest. Probably one of the most annoying pre people, or probably one of the most annoying um, girls that's got to get chose on one of these. I'm gonna be honest with you. Brain damage, yeah, yeah, um, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 100 with you. I'm gonna be 100. I'm gonna keep it 100 thou with you. That was kind of crazy. That was very insane. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro.